Hey everyone, this is Michael Dougal with Remax Premier. I appreciate you tuning in to watch this short message where I'm going to reveal to you what's taken place in September 2019. I'm shooting this video on October 5th, 2019. Very excited because we have all the data from the Toronto Real Estate Board as far as sales and listings. Firstly, as you all know, my customers get excellent service. Who do you know that's either buying or selling or even has questions? I'll be happy to speak with them either over the phone or in person. Communicate with me, whichever easiest method, email, text, call me 416-671-5218. Let's get right into the data. As far as year over year summary, the sales have increased remarkably by 22%. This is the number of sales. New listings down by 1.9%. Active listings down by 14.1%. Average price is up by 5.8%. And the average days on market is down by 11.5%. These are all the signs of a market that is more advantageous to sellers than it is for buyers. Because we can see that the number of sales are up, which shows us that there's more buyers that are actually willing to pull the trigger versus sit on the sidelines. And otherwise, that our average price has slightly gone up and the average days on market is lower. In terms of this, what's really surprising is just the number of listings. In general now, you look in your neighborhood or you look in your building, there's not a lot of property up for sale versus even like the summertime or even back in the spring. I'm making 50 to 100 calls every single day and this is very constantly what I'm hearing. Michael, is this a good time to sell because there's nothing on the market or are we better off waiting until the spring? Very valid question and it's gonna depend, of course, based on your area, based on what's happening and based on where the buyers are. I know where the buyers are. In terms of the style of property, if you're analyzing like the detached, the semi-detached, the townhouses and the condo apartments, everything is very similar in terms of the price increase. We can see that on average, uh, year over year, detached homes have gone up by 4.1%, semi-detached up by 5.1%, townhouses up by 6.8%, and condo apartments only up by 4.2%. And why I say this is surprising is because beforehand, like the spread was very different. Beforehand, it seemed that the year over year percent change was detached homes 0% and condos were basically 10%. Whereas now everything's very similar. I mean, that's a 2.7 range between detached and now we can see townhouses are the hottest. So a very common question that I'm getting is, um, Michael, is it a great time to buy a condo? I would say absolutely, because we can see the condo prices have somewhat stabilized. They're not surging up like they were before. Maybe they've reached like their threshold as far as really how many buyers there are in the marketplace. When you're buying a condo downtown, um, like a one bedroom and you're paying about 550, right? At the end of the day, it's gonna come down to, does a family have sufficient household income to buy a property? And most people can afford up to five, 550, but when you go over 600, then things do change and there's obviously less buyers in that buyer pool. And so that's what I'm seeing really, I'm seeing less listings. I'm also seeing more private sellers uh, struggling to sell their homes. In particular areas, the private sellers are having success, like particularly downtown Toronto if you've got a condominium but otherwise um hey if you guys choose to sell your home privately I really respect your decision that decision is up to you sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work but if you are doing it then I would recommend you really have a lot of time on your hands to show the property don't refuse any appointments and if anything just really work on your sales skills it may be a bizarre recommendation but in terms of the private sellers who have success when a buyer comes through the door they're not going over the features and benefits of their home and saying my home is so great because it has 3,000 square feet it's two-story I've got a sauna a seller like will ask them first the buyer what are you looking for in a property and that's why you want to hire an agent because really if you're hiring us for our people skills our likability our ability to persuade the buyer to pay the value for your home and if you are considering selling your home I would love your business call me call me call me my name is Michael Dougal I'm with Remax Premier I can be reached at 416-671-5218 markets very strong right now I've sold three homes over the past week I uh, just very very busy and very active working with lots of buyers if you do have a home that you're selling so look forward to hearing from you guys um, if you know anyone else that may benefit from this information just forward the email over to them or if you came across the link on YouTube just copy and paste the YouTube link and send that to them I read all your comments I love your comments I love your responses don't forget to click like subscribe if you want to see more and I look forward to seeing you all next time